Hello Transformers fans, Adam here, back from my amazing tweak vacation, and back with another Transformers review with a G1 reissue of Autobot Scientist Perceptor from 1986's Transformers the Movie. Let's get into it, starting with this box. So on the front, graphics of Perceptor in both of his modes. On the top, a transforming demonstration. On the one side here, plastic-free packaging, very important, you know. So important that they put it in five different languages. <laughs> On the other side, pictures of Perceptor in both of his modes. Same pictures on the back here, along with a mini bio forum. All right, we'll put that back there and focus on Perceptor himself. So he comes with both a blaster and a rocket launcher because while he prefers science to battle, he will absolutely get in the fight when he needs to, such as when he helped defend Autobot City from the Decepticons attempted siege in the 86 movie. Now, unfortunately, the rocket launcher, it doesn't actually launch. That's a little disappointing. Wish I could have given it a little spring action, but what are you going to do? All right, we'll put these aside and focus on his appearance. So, I'll give you a 360 here. And once again, with these movie reissues, this is a much more accurate paint job for what it actually looked like on the show. And also, no stickers, all paint. I am definitely all for that. Don't misapply no stickers and eventually having them peel off. My biggest gripe, however, is his face. They gave him that face shield, just like the G1 toy had, instead of the mouth like he had on the show. I do wish they could have given him that little upgrade, but again, what are you going to do? He does, however, have some pretty decent articulation. His shoulder has a 360 action, and he can bend his elbow. Can bend the leg back and forth, but he can move it out, have him throw a side kick. Twist it around. Bend the knee, twist the knee, even bend the toes. Definitely more than he got from most G1 Transformers. Looking at you, G1 Rodimus. <laughs> All right, let's stay focused. And let's go ahead and transform him. Start by pushing in his head, raise up his scope, bring down his mirror, then bring down the tray, lower down the scope, raise up his arms, push in his fists, then raise his arms up all the way and push them in, bring down his toes, rotate his legs around, swing them out, bring in his knees, rotate them around, and there he is as a microscope ready to examine his fellow Autobots and see what needs repairing. Now, the original G1 Perceptor was actually a working microscope, but that's not the case here. You're not seeing anything through that. Again, a little disappointing. Wish they would have given him some actual lenses, but you can still mimic zooming in and out. And that's about the only articulation you're gonna get because, well, he's a microscope. What else can you do? <laughs> but we're not quite done transforming yet because Perceptor here has a secret third mode, making him a low-key triple changer. So, rotate his legs around just like that. And then, swing them back, just like this. Straighten out that scope. And there he is, in a secret third mode, as a tank of some sort. We never actually saw this on a show, and I really wish we would have, because this would have been awesome. I'm guessing this kind of goes back to when he was originally designed in Japan before the Transformers even were the Transformers. But still, a low-key triple changer with a badass tank mode. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and transform him back. So, start by straightening out these legs. Rotate them back around. Bring the knees back around, bring his toes back out, bring his arms back out, bring them back down, use a little switch here to bring his fist back out, bring the scope back, move it to the side, bring his arms down. Push back up the tray and the mirror. And then a little dial here on the back to raise up his head. 
and back to a bot. I never did have the original G1 Perceptor, so I'm definitely happy to have him in my collection, even if he isn't actually a working microscope. I can live with that. <laughs> and I do also have the Studio Series version of him on the way, so once that comes in, I will review him and drop that video immediately. But that wraps up this video, so join me for my next one. Good night, Transformers fans.